Interested in what goes into food? Then consider becoming a dietitian. Dietitians are all about food and nutrition strategies. They can develop and analyze food, manage food services, promote food safety, or even do research. To find out more, we talked with a dietitian. My name is Chelsea Wynn. I'm a registered dietitian with Alberta Health Services. I work as a part of the Northern Alberta program. My duties as a dietitian are to assess nutritional risk and nutritional status. Uh, some of those markers might involve things like um, dietary intake, we might look at lab values which might be indicative of malnutrition. From those components we would develop and implement a nutrition plan and monitor outcomes over time. Dietitians work in a variety of locations and environments, one of which would be a hospital and inpatient dietitian as well as outpatient dietitians who tend to work in clinics or with some sort of team. There's also dietitians who work in food services, they might manage a food service department or food services as a part of a hospital. Uh, there's dietitians who work in research or education. A typical day for me might start in the morning first thing, checking my email, returning emails, returning phone calls scheduling my appointments, uh, doing some follow-up from the day before. Most of my mornings are spent in clinic with our interdisciplinary team. Our team involves physicians, uh, pharmacists, nurses, social workers, and myself, the dietitian. Part of our role in the clinic is to see patients who have a specific need to see, see us. They might have social work issues or nutrition issues, in which case I would visit them briefly in clinic, determine any kind of nutritional uh, markers or their nutritional status in terms of what I can tell from a brief diet history in clinic. Depending on what I see in clinic, me or the patient might decide that they might benefit from a one-on-one -on -one session with myself, at which time I might be able to schedule them in uh, during one of my afternoons to see them. My afternoons are spent following up with patients. Um, it might involve returning phone calls, seeing patients one-on-one -on -one for nutrition counseling, as well as spending time in meetings with other dietitians, as well as with our team. To become a dietitian, you require a bachelor's degree in science, majoring in nutrition, after which time you would complete an internship, which would be about a year in length. Um, after that time, once you've completed your internship, you write an exam to show your skills, show that you're ready to practice as a dietitian. My route was not direct to this occupation. I started off with a degree in biological sciences at a different university. Uh, I ended up here because I was looking for something still within the science field and found this program in nutrition, a bachelor's of science majoring in nutrition, and it was something that really appealed to me. I switched to the program and completed an internship in the Edmonton area, um, after which I, I found a job here and have stayed ever since. Dietitians have the opportunity to return back to school and receive a master's in nutrition, as well as in other areas such as public health. Dietitians are often involved in research and education and going on to pursue um, professorship. When we're looking to hire new dietitians, some of the skills that we look for are strong communication ability, someone who is focused on client-centered care, and has extremely good organizational and time management skills. We're also looking for someone who has very good people skills, someone who's not afraid to work independently, but is also able to work very collaboratively and to work in a team-oriented environment. Someone who's inquisitive, willing to learn, and interested in about, about food and health makes some of the best personality traits for someone looking to be a dietitian, as well as flexibility, managing busy clinic schedules or busy patient loads within the hospital are an asset as well. Generally speaking, dietitians work regular hours, 8 to 4.15. There are some on-call duties required for some dietitians who work in inpatients and are required to come in on the weekend to provide specialized nutrition support um, at that time. The regular hours that a dietitian works allows me to have a lot of spare time on the evenings and on weekends to do the things that I love to do, such as cooking. Um, there's something very comforting about coming home and cooking after a long day's work or on a lazy Sunday afternoon, preparing something that takes a little bit more time. Uh, as well on evenings, I have plenty of time to get myself involved in physical activity like running and Pilates and yoga, which are things that I enjoy doing. 
Healthcare is an ever-changing field. There's always something new and exciting to learn about and that's what keeps me on my toes, keeps me learning new things when new recommendations come out, new research comes out that might apply to what I do. It's very exciting to learn about those things but challenging to keep up with it all. Pursuing a profession in dietetics would be ideal for someone who's interested in food and health. If you have the desire to help people and feel passionately about food and nutrition, it's something that will give you a lot of fulfillment in the future. I love working as a dietitian. I enjoy every day coming home and having the feeling that I've helped someone and changed their life in a positive way. To become a dietitian, you will typically need two to four years of post-secondary study plus an internship. In Alberta, you must also be registered with the College of Dietitians of Alberta. If the occupation of dietitian interests you, there's more information available including educational requirements and salary ranges in the Occupational Profiles on ALICE. You may also be interested in the related occupations of food scientist, food services supervisor or restaurant manager. Learn more on the ALICE website and make the most of your future. Visit us at alice.alberta.ca